This ginger garlic eggplant is the best I ever had. Let's make it. You're gonna start with the Chinese eggplant. They're slender and longer than a regular eggplant. I like to cut these in diagonal circles, but feel free to cut them as you wish. I like the diagonal circles because it gives you more surface. They're bigger pieces and they cook easier. When you cut these, you want your pieces to be the same size because it's gonna make sure that they cook evenly. When we're finished cutting, we are going to soak these in salt water. Soaking these in salt water makes the flesh less spongy and is going to ensure that your eggplant does not soak up a lot of oil and it makes them nice and creamy. So we're going to cover the eggplant with enough water and we're going to let these soak for about 20 minutes. It's time to work on the sauce, but I have absolutely no idea where my pillar is, so I'm gonna use a spoon to peel my ginger. If you want an easy way to peel ginger, yes, you can use the back of a spoon and it will get all the skin off. Voila! We're gonna chop these in nice thin slices. And then we're going to take these slices, we're gonna stack them up and we're gonna chop them into little strips. We're gonna take those strips and we're going to chop them very finely. I prefer to use this method than grating because it adds a texture to the dish. Also, I'm going to chop the garlic in the same manner so the ginger will have the exact same shape as the garlic so everything is uniform. And like I said, it adds an additional texture to the beautiful eggplant. This ginger smells amazing. When it comes to cutting our onion, we are gonna chop these in nice big chunks. We want the chunks to add additional texture to the dish. Everything is about texture. We're going to chop these in about half inch strips. You don't want these to solidify in the pan. You wanna have nice chunky onions in your pan. Everything is smelling amazing. Let's get started on our sauce. I am going to eyeball this, feel free to measure. You're gonna start with approximately one fourth cup of soy sauce. This is regular soy sauce. You can use low sodium if you like. Then you're going to add three tablespoons of honey. This is gonna add the sweet element to our sauce. Like I said, you can use a tablespoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it because that's just how I do it. You're gonna add approximately a half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil is really strong and it can overpower your sauce really, really quickly. I'm gonna add just a little bit more, but I'm telling you, a half a tablespoon will do you. Then you're gonna add approximately one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. I love rice wine vinegar. It has a nice, mellow, sour note to it. It is a great, great product. Then we're gonna use some Chinese five spice. Add about a half a tablespoon of that. You can use more if you like this flavor, but it is really, really powerful. And the next ingredient is my ultimate favorite ingredient and this is chili garlic paste one tablespoon would do but i'm going to add another one because i said it's my favorite after you have added all your wet ingredients we are going to add that beautiful ginger that we spent so much time chopping and we're also going to add our lovely fragrant garlic now this sauce is a perfect combination of sweet salty, spicy, and sour. And those are the four typical elements that you're looking for when you're making an Asian inspired dish. You want this sauce to be nice and thick and it's going to taste delicious. I'm telling you, you can use this as a dipping sauce. Let me show you what your sauce should look like. It's nice and rich and thick. It almost looks like a glaze and that's exactly what you want. Let's get started on this rice. We're using jasmine rice. We're gonna take one cup of rice. We're gonna take 
two cups of water and we are going to put this on the stove. We are going to turn this on high and once it starts to boil, we are going to cover it and we're going to simmer it. It is really just that easy. If it starts to boil over, just take the lid and just crack it just a little bit. Voila. While our rice is cooking, let's drain our eggplant. We want to make sure that we get all the water out. And then we're going to take a paper towel and we're going to go in and we're going to drain every bit of water. We're going to lightly season this with some salt, pepper, and guess what? We're going to use that same Chinese five spice that we used in our sauce. This is called mimicking flavors. You don't have to season this really, really heavily because our sauce has so many different flavors in it. After you mix that in, yes, go ahead, use your hand. Your hand is a tool. After you mix it, we're going to cover this with some cornstarch. We really don't need a lot. All we need is enough to add a nice coating so it can fry up nice and crisp. All right, it's time to start cooking. Let me turn you guys to the stove. Let me see. Is that a good angle? Let me see. Um, We good? Nope. Let me move you down just a little bit. All right, we good. Let's start cooking. Two, a hot skillet. We are gonna add approximately three to four tablespoons of olive oil. We're not going to deep fry these, we're gonna shadow fry these. Here's a trick to test whether your oil is hot. You can use an onion. If the onion starts to sizzle, it is time to start cooking. You're going to take your eggplant and you're going to strategically place these in the pan. Make sure you have enough room. If you're using more than one eggplant, you're going to have to do this in batches. You want to make sure that your eye or your temperature is down to like a medium high. We don't want to cook these too fast. These are going to take approximately six to eight minutes on each side. You don't want these to get too dark. After they cook for about six to eight minutes, you're going to flip them over and you want them to be this nice, beautiful, golden, crispy brown. Look at that. They look absolutely delicious. While these are frying, let's check on our rice. And guess what? Our rice is done. We are going to simply turn it off and let it sit. Now, these have been cooking for six to eight minutes on both sides you're going to gently remove these i am using these tongs but do not squeeze too heavily because these are nice and ooey gooey in the middle and we don't want to squeeze out all that deliciousness so carefully remove these and let me show you what they should look like on the inside you see that you see that it's just nice and creamy and soft and it is absolutely scrumptious. This is the texture that you're looking for when you're cooking eggplant. You have to be patient because it does take some time to cook, but it is worth the wait. All right, back to cooking. I have removed about 90% of the oil and I'm adding the onions to that hot skillet. We're going to saute these onions until they get nice and tender, maybe about four to five minutes. Now we're going to add that delicious scrumptious sauce that we worked so hard on. And we are going to saute the onions in this sauce for approximately two minutes. That's it. It really doesn't need a lot of time. After you saute this for about two minutes, we are going to gently add our beautiful eggplant. And I say gently because we don't just want to throw them in there and we don't want to break them. I, we, the presentation, we have to worry about the presentation. Add your green onions to this and lightly toss your eggplant in this sauce. You want the eggplant and the onions and the sauce to get all comfortable. Toss it for about two minutes and guess what? This dish is done. Look at that. It smells absolutely amazing. Our rice, all we're going to do is we're going to take a fork and we're going to fluff it, not stir it. And guess what? It's time to plate. I mean, this is a vegetarian dish, so I'm being very generous with the rice. 
you're going to put your rice on a plate and you're just going to, you know, style it how you see fit, get it to a nice little shape that you're comfortable with. We're going to take this beautiful, delicious, scrumptious eggplant mixture and we are going to be very generous with this as well, okay? Normally, I'll put maybe one or two spoonfuls, but today I'm putting three. You want to know why? Because I can I'm putting three spoonfuls on here and then I am going to sprinkle a little bit of lime juice to brighten it up and we're going to garnish with some green onion. Just go ahead and sprinkle them on there, put them where you want them to go and guess what? We have our completed vegan, vegetarian, garlic, ginger, eggplant, bon appetit, let's eat.